Right, okay, right, welcome back, part two. Right, part two. Um, it's getting serious, right? It's getting troublesome. It's getting energetic. It's getting integral. Could be watching sergeants. Right, so anyway, what was I saying? Yes. Update on the career. Right, now. Word has got back to Mitchell. Right? Before we say anything about that, because it's highly important news and it's interesting. Floating it over to you in like a peace sign of ginger. Right, anyway. Right, so, right, so we've got this uh, dredge in here. Don't worry about the pasta at the moment, it's fine. Forget about it. That's basically the source. That's basically the source, really. I mean, there will be other, we have changed. Um, I've had a little bit of a change of mind in between the break, okay? Because obviously I can't do live streams. I wouldn't want to do a live stream, right? because I'm highly intoxicated and uh, we it might be a disaster, all right? Because I might read stuff on the chat and just tell you to like, fuck off or whatever. So anyway, I was gonna use Harissa Pace, but I've changed my mind. I've made an executive fucking up level decision. Right? We've gone chili sauce. Yeah, so all the stuff I bought last, uh, basically last spring, I'm now starting to use. So we've gone for a bit of chilli and garlic sauce. Gonna see how it goes. We're not gonna go ridiculous because we still want, I wanna use it in a very, very Michelin starry measured way. Yeah. So there we go, that's what I'm saying. So what we're gonna do? Right, we need to get cracking. We need to get a move on. We're getting energetic. Look, I'm even doing like handstands. I'm not, because I mean, I've still got pants on. I did change them last week, so don't start, all right? Because I'm getting annoyed. So, right, okay. So we're gonna move the uh, executive Odessa Greek olive oil. It's only a year old. Don't worry about it, it's fine. So, right, well, I'm going to get the whizzer out because we're doing eggs. Now, the reason why, now, <coughs> on a serious front, um, on a serious front, hang on a minute, are we having a moment or we are, we are having a moment, hang on. Right, okay, so anyway, right, so, right, let's crack the eggs, all right, let's get it going. So, one egg. Uh, now, obviously, I did have an egg mixture, but I did leave it in the fridge and it all went a bit funky and I was not prepared. So I've got three eggs in there. Now, hopefully that'll be fine. I am going to season it, so obviously. So a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of white pepper, and then in we go with the pizza. All right. Now best thing about the blitzer to make it to work is it's a really good idea to actually plug the fucker in right right here we go right mortgage job appliances electricity here we go right excellent now it works so Is that a difference? Because the reason why I like to do the blitz up with an egg like this, I suppose, for this sort of purpose, right, is because it gives it just aerates it a little bit, right? So instead of like whisking it up, like I'm basically I am whisking it up, obviously, but I'm aerating it, and I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Because this is gonna be now quite a tricky situation. I don't know. I've got no idea 
at all. Right, I've got no idea at all whether that oil is hot enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a little scraggly bit off the chicken, of any part of the chicken. There we go. There's a little bit of skirt there. Right, let's just cut that off. Right, let's just chuck it in and see what happens. And then I can judge whether that oil is hot enough and it isn't. Well, it might be because it's going to be a bigger area, but let's just have a look. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Right, because I haven't got it on the double burner. I've only got it on single ring. So, mm, I'm going to whack up to an eight. That's going to be heating up while I'm putting it in. So it might be okay. Right, so I've got, I haven't got enough room we're using the one tray now I'm going to take this out of the way because I wanted to show you right so we did like obviously the last time we double drip double dip didn't we in the, in the trays right because we had two trays so I put two trays into one so we're now not going to have the space so what I want to do is I want to create a sort of little protective area for that chicken breast there we're going to call this chicken breast Fred this is Fred. Hello, Fred. Welcome to everyone. And you're about to meet uh, not Fred. So there we go. This one, right, they're so claggy and caked up. But what I want to do is when I dip them in the egg, which I'm about to do now, I need a different, because we haven't got two trays, we've got one tray. So I need a bit of separational difference, right? So here we go. So this has been like properly clagged up right i'm going to give it a little bit of a pat down all right it's been clagged up in the dredge for like two days like two fucking days it's like like it's like it's got um some like weird leprosy disease but it's going to be mental so here we go so I'm going to dip it in that fresh egg yolk I've just whizzed up, alright, not long, let's let it drip. Let's get the excess of that egg off because we don't need that, alright, all it's for is to collect the next lethal dose of a fucking dredge, right, in it goes. So this is like two day old marinated dredge it's even more sicker than any i mean the fucking color of this dredge and the smell is so chickeny it is apps and so hurt and like i can smell that. i can technically smell all the ingredients i put into this two fucking days ago it's ridiculous now, if i was to do this at work right if I was to do this at work, I would say to the owner at work, this some fried chicken that you're about to put on your menu, you have got to be looking at at least, I'm not taking the piss, but I'm saying 30 fucking quid. So, so this is hardcore shit, because it's, even the dredge is marinated. I mean, I've even gone that anal. Now I'm going to splay it out. I'm not patting it. I'm not patting the dredge into it at all. We're just, we're just rolling it around, rolling it around. All right. That's all we're doing. Okie dokie. So that's been double dipped. It's been double dredged. Right. That's cool. Now, before we do anything, I want to get organised. All right. Because, right. This, this, like, if you fall. Like, yes, the other day's ones were quite mental. Um, I reckon this could come out even more mental. We don't know yet. So I'm just getting... I'm just getting ready and organised for different things. Hang on a second. So I only just got, only done, only just done the washing the other day. So I've literally got like fresh tea towels because I 
I need to do the washing obviously. So because the flat's so tiny, it's like such a compact like, like little gaff, it's like, you know what I mean? And we are talking about single man, so, you know. So I just want to create a little cloth bed, right, for these to go on. Right, when these are ready, sorry. Oh, this one is ready, all right. Now, I'm hoping the oil's hot enough. Um, I'm gonna get ready to turn it down because this is, I know the last video was about the pasta and all that business and whatever. Uh, but this video uh, isn't, so there we are. Right, okay. Right, oh god, it's looking ridiculous. Oh, this is, I think this is too ridiculous. And it's even bone in as well. And it is skin on, and I think, because I remember when I cut the Raider Blades, I've done them in like, I've done three with just, uh, I scored them linely. And, oh god, hang on a minute, for fuck's sake. Yeah, so I've done them like, um, scored them in lines, and the other two, I've done them in squares, and I? So, which I think is going to be better, so I think I'm going to do that from now on. Because the other way, the other two come out pretty fucked up, mate. Right, okay, let's do the air rate, let's not pat it down, let's not take the piss of it. Right, let's give it a go, let's see how we do. So I want to get ready for any... So I'm just checking out the temperature really, so I need to start lowering this down to about a 7 or a 6 I reckon. And there we go, and away we go. And we're just going to let that go and see literally how we go really, to be honest with you. There's not much I can do. Apart from saying that I love you. Yeah. Right, so that's going to be on a seven, a six at the moment. So we don't want to rush it. Even that's probably too high. I'm going to allow it down to about five. So I know, but that chicken has been, it's not, it's not come out of the fridge. Right, it hasn't come out of the fruit, so it's not gonna. I can already see it starting to golden a little bit. So we do have to keep like a very close eye on it. Well, I can't, I'm not gonna touch it at the moment. See, when you fiddle, right, the best thing to do in these situations is don't fiddle, let it take its course, just pay attention to what's going on, okay. So what can I see in the moment? Well, I can see a lot of little bubbles coming creating around the edge of the actual uh, chicken thigh and quite a lot of medium and biggish bubbles coming from the middle. Now that tells me that the oil was slightly too high. So the smaller the bubbles, that means the quicker the water releasage from that meat is gonna be, which means that it's cooking quicker, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's cooking better, all right? So you wanna see, if all, the bu if all them bubbles are really big, that means the temperature of the oil's too low. If all them bubbles are like fucking foaming, obviously it's too high. So do you know what I mean? So you wanna see a nice mixture. So, and at the moment, we're getting a nice mixture going on. So I've got, medium to big bubbles in the center. I've got slightly, not tiny bubbles, but tiny-ish bubbles coming around the edges. The bubbles that are coming off into the outer part of the oil, they're starting to develop into small to medium. That's actually probably about the perfect temperature, really. And that's how you can tell without a thermometer, right? Now, you only gain that through is literally experience, and that's it. So you've got, it's not a case about being experienced about, oh yeah, because I can cook this in my kitchen, I can be like literally a chef. It doesn't, no, it doesn't mean that. What it means is, is you've got a good 
the understanding of how food cooks, right? So there we go. So we're gonna give it a little shifty. So it's moving very freely. So we're gonna have a little look. Right, I reckon that's time to turn it over. And that's fine. And I reckon that's gonna be about it soon. Right. Now I'm going to turn it up to about a six now because I need to do the other side of it and also the next chicken is going in. Alright, so yeah, so we've had like a lot of dredge on this. I mean, I don't know whether to save it or not. I actually probably will. Um, let me know in the comments if that's a good idea or not. I don't know. I mean, I know it's got turkey stuff in it. I mean, chicken stuff in it. Uh, so probably not. Oh, I don't know. It's a waste, so isn't it? It really is. But maybe it's done its work. You know, it's it's done its thing. So who knows? Who knows? So right, we're keeping a very close eye on that. Before we do, start doing this, let's let's concentrate on on this first because I'm getting slightly carried away there, and I don't want to. I've got my uh, kitchen uh, kitchen towel on, as you can see, kitchen towel is on. Makes me look highly know what I'm fucking doing. Right, okay, so we're gonna turn this back over, and I'm gonna call that done. All right. I'm going to call that down. Mm. And it feels okay. Okay, there we go. So I don't know if that's going to have made any difference it marinating the dredge for an extra couple of days, but we will see. I mean, it looks not bad. I mean, it looks more um, concentrated on the actual. Uh, crispiness itself actually so we'll leave it over now to does the other side look look the same or probably probably the same really so oh no, why is that going on that's not me mm. oh. right okay so I think that's right So I think it looks right as it goes. It's hard to see, it's hard to show you because you know it's hard to get the right like, angle on these things to like to show people. It's like like the camera really doesn't do any of these things justice at all. Um which is a bit of a shame really, so but it is what it is, so Right, so we've done that one. Right, now. Right, let's move it over. Let's... Right, so we've dredged the shit out of this, right? Right, we're now going to whack it in the egg yolk. So, there we go. That oil's on about a six. So I'm watching that. Right, so we're going back in and my hands are bollocks, so it's going to be interesting. So there we go. Right, so we're going to dredge that. That was annoying, so don't worry about it. I'm not going to say anything, but I think everyone knows what it is, so it's a fucking bollocks. Right, so let's toss this around. So this is the last of the chicken thighs. And to be honest with you, the marinade, it makes it look more... Um, it has got quite a lot more flavour to it actually. It's quite intense. Like the flavour's very um Yeah, it's nice. 
It's fucking, it's, it's like, um, it's like the difference between like a, a really nice steak and like a dry aged steak, actually, but for like chicken, fried chicken world, really, I'm going to do this again, so, yeah, that is a really good, I reckon that's a better idea to actually make the dredge ahead of time, actually, not necessarily about the chicken being in the dredge, I mean, that's going to help anyway, but, yeah, make, if you're going to do the dredge, make it, I reckon, make it 24 hours ahead of time, so all them flavours get a chance to, um, like, to go into the, um, like, to go into the actual, like, chicken and shit itself, so, and the actual, I mean, the flour and that, all that itself, so, let's give it a go. Right, and these are bone in, don't forget chin, uh, skin on as well, but we scored it. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, nice. So I reckon that's about it for the dredge. So I will get rid of that, but that's done its job. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're looking out for the same sort of thing, right? So we're looking for them sort of bubbles that we want. So we want bub light, smaller bubbles around the outside than the sort of biggish bubbles in the centre. Right? So there we are. So anyway. While that is cooking off, right? Right, I've got my little chilies here. Oh, actually, I won't. I probably won't need these chilies. I might do them for for a little bit of decoration. We don't know yet. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna um, while the rest of that is cooking off, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a part two, and. Um, in part three, we'll be finishing off the pasta and uh, serving up the chicken. So, yeah, winner, winner, awesome tomato pasta and some fried chicken dinner. Why not? Anyway, I'll leave it with you. Bless you all. I'll see you on the next one. See what happens in part three.